So tell them to shut up, take your money, go pick up the game, and bring it back. Regular viewers of my channel will probably know that I'm pretty hardcore when it comes to liberty. Your personal freedom is the most important thing that you have. You have the right to own yourself. So, what happens when someone else takes away that right to ownership? Well, that's evil. Now, extend that a little bit. Part of the problem with personal rights is that you don't actually have rights if you can't meaningfully exercise those rights. In this case, censorship is also evil because censorship means that you are not given the ability to listen to things that you want to listen to, to consume things that you want to consume and the person producing it wants to give to you. You might be wondering what this has to do with Steam and piracy, but let me get to it. Several years ago, Valve said they would not be stopping anyone who wanted to publish something to the Steam store from doing so. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you do such a thing? How could you do this? You don't seem to understand. Your decision is going to hurt women and minorities and trans people. You don't seem to get how oppressive you are. There is a veritable shitstorm on Twitter of people who are complaining that Valve is making everything unsafe. That it's unsafe, unsafe to allow content that they disagree with. And that's the banning of a game called Domina from Steam. Who cares if it's a good, bad, or terrible game? It was not banned because of the game. It was banned because the developer put political statements in release notes. The specific statements that triggered this banning were um, considered anti-trans, but who cares? They're just release notes for a video game. No one playing the game is required to read them. Nobody playing the game has to agree with them. Valve promised that they would dump the censorship and let things just go where they needed to go without Valve being heavy-handed in moderation. Yet here we see them backing out of that. Huge platforms run everything. Everything filters back up to Visa and MasterCard, the two major card payment processors. And if you don't have content moderation that suits them, you get banned from all downstream payment processors as a result. Visa and MasterCard are the true final bosses. But this is a Steam decision. This is Valve making this choice, not Visa or MasterCard. And even though they're the final boss, the bottom line is... The minions that are the corporations must do the bidding of their masters for that bidding to actually take practical effect. What we see here is a developer engaging in wrong think in release note commentary. Now, whether you think they are tasteful or tasteless, the bottom line is they should be free to say stupid things in their release notes. If you don't like it, you can choose not to do business with them. You can choose not to play their game. You can choose not to give them money or attention. That is your choice. Other people may make a different choice. What Steam has done is take away the choice. This comes back to the concept of self-ownership. The concept that you have the right to conduct your life as you see fit. And you also have certain rights, such as freedom of speech, that are required for you to meaningfully live your life. You have to be able to speak, which also means other people have to be able to speak to you. The right to speak includes the right to listen and includes the right to reach other people that can hear you. Some might say, oh, but the right to reach people, that that's not a right. You don't have a right to other people's platforms. And you know, that might be legally true. But I think if you, and this is a philosophical argument, not a legal one, if you operate a large platform that controls hundreds of thousands of people or even millions of people's ability to communicate, whether that communication is by text, by image, by video, by audio, or by video gaming, then you have a responsibility to remain neutral, which means if someone does something crappy, you let them be crappy, and you let other people put them out of business, or ignore them, avoid them, refuse to share them. You let 
freedom reigns supreme. If you operate a large platform, that is your only responsibility. If you do not do that, I have no problem doing everything in my power, and you and everyone else who is remotely liberty-minded, who thinks that they should be allowed to run their own lives as they see fit, should agree that these platforms that do not adhere to this simple standard of let freedom reign supreme across this huge platform must be taken down. And that is why I am going to pirate every Steam game that I possibly can, and I am not going to ever give them a cent of my money. Now granted, I wasn't giving Steam money anyway, so you could say, well, what good is that? Well, not only am I not giving them money, but I'm doing something that'll seriously piss them off, and posting on YouTube saying that I'm doing it. You know what? YouTube won't let me advocate for this. They won't allow me to say that you should do something like that. So I won't. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is, you should consider all of the options for protesting this bad behavior. Do whatever you need to do that will punch steam in the wallet, or, at a minimum, just burn their morale, erode their feelings of positivity about the company and where it's going. Because once this censorship train starts chewing down the track, it doesn't stop. And no, I don't care if they're a private company. They have control over what thousands upon thousands of people can do. People who only come there to buy stuff that other people want to sell to them. They're not some sort of parent. They're not some sort of authority figure over you. They're a middleman. Their job is to shut up and take my money. Their job is to shut up and take the stuff from the other guy and give it to you and then deliver your money to the other guy. That is their job. So tell them to shut up, take your money, go pick up the game, and bring it back. They're getting a cut. That's all that you need them for. That's all that they should be doing. The fact that they're doing anything beyond that is absolutely reprehensible, and you should not stand for it. You should not support it. Get off Steam. Do what you need to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go buy an eye patch. It's time to get on the internet. No step on snack!